Good morning everyone and happy Monday. Do you know what? I can just about get away with saying good morning still first of all because I think it's about 5 to 12 and also I don't think I look as bad as I feel. <laughs> I have not had a wink of sleep. I've been very 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 restless the last night so I thought that I would bring you up to speed. Ali and I have spent the best part of a week trying to get Winston and Lumi better acquainted and look at him. He loves windowsills. Hello Winston. As mentioned in the first video, it was a trial to try and see if we could welcome another little fur baby into the house and I am honestly heartbroken to let you guys know that it hasn't actually worked out. <laughs> it's so, so sad. And so I didn't realize why I wasn't sleeping last night. I couldn't work it out. And I realized that it was literally, it was heartbreak. You know, like when you go through a breakup and you can't eat and you can't sleep, that's kind of how I feel right now. Trying not to cry. I am such a crier now. I remember when I, I first started my YouTube channel, I was like, I don't really cry. <laughs> I am such a crier. Yeah, so basically, Without going into too much detail, I think that Winston would settle into home life here absolutely perfectly. Like, he is just the dream. I can't get over his nature and temperament. Like, he is the softest, most lovely little tinker ever. But I don't think that Lumi will ever settle into into him being here. It was so weird because we sort of introduced them fairly slowly and Lumi was sleeping in here and Winston was sleeping in the kitchen. The door was open and they had no idea of each other's existence. <laughs> and then we went to bed, we put Winston to bed and we got up the next day and we decided to introduce them that day. And from that moment, she knew that he was there and he existed and... Oh my goodness, it was like Lynx all over again. Because I think the thing that we were sort of worried about, because we felt that Lynx, Lynx did bully her, bless him and her, God rest his soul. He did bully her. And so we thought that that was possibly why she was the way that she was with Lynx. But I think that she is just a cat that is not into other cats. She's absolutely like, fine with dogs and she's not really as phased by them probably because she can't smell them and there's not like that territory war but bless her she has been an absolute wreck since she just like set eyes on him and we've tried like to sort of go with it and he's just not bothered about her at all he's really not he's not bothered whatsoever all he is bothered about is the birds that he cannot get to because he's not allowed out and um being around people that's basically all he's fussed about so the only other thing that started happening was he started marking in a few areas as well um which you know could have been territory marking it could also have been stress but we had to get to the point where we just kept Lumi in our bedroom and opened a window for her to come and go. And that's not fair on her. So I spoke to Winston's mum this morning and I think she's gonna try and keep him. It was all basically allergy related, but she's hopeful that the allergy situation will resolve itself. So I think she's probably missed him. Honestly, like Ali and I, we sat down last night and we were just like, I am, I'm like, I'm getting attached to him and I can feel it and it's like we're gonna get to that point that we got to with Lynx where we were like ah they're not getting on but we're too in love with him to let him go and so yeah we've made the decision that sadly a cat is not going to fill the hole that is currently within my heart <laughs> and I'm trying so hard not to cry because I feel so bad for him But hopefully he gets to go home now and it will be a bit different. But I'm going to obviously make sure that I am kept in the loop and stuff like that. But he is honestly just the most wonderful cat. And because we were keeping Lumi separate from him last night, we spent the entire evening in the living room with him. And Ali was just giving him lots of kisses and love. And we were just, he was just sat with us the whole time. 
So when Lumi came home, we were like, obviously Lumi's in our room, so we'll sleep with Lumi. And he was crying outside of our bedroom. So at about two o'clock, I just got up, <laughs> took my dressing gown and went into the spare bedroom. And he instantly calmed and we slept in there until the morning. So I didn't actually sleep though. There was no sleeping that happened for me. I was very restless. And so I'm very tired today. But what I'm doing is I'm like trying to power through my to-do list to get things done because it is starting to get so busy. And I'm just, oh, like we had a team meeting this morning and I was just like, oh my God. But yeah, so we're both very sad because he is, I can't get over him. I can't deal with how cute he is. Like this is the hardest thing. Look at him. You all right, little fluff? You okay? Instant purr. Oh, look at you. And he's so soft, like even when he's like playing, he doesn't use his claws. When he bites, it's very gentle. It's just, he's be like the perfect cat for like kids. But I just, I'm so sorry, mate, I really am. I always hate being like vulnerable with my feelings on my videos now because I know that like with how people are on the internet, they like use your, the things that make you sad as like, oh, I can just, stick a knife in so i know i'll probably get those horrible comments where people are like oh you're such a selfish person for doing this but like we've tried to give him like the home he deserves and it shouldn't be a cost to a any other animal and we're just we're just devastated i don't know what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna have to get a pony or something <laughs> Oh. Anyway, at the moment I am sat in my living room. I've just finished off a campaign with Le Boutin Beauty, which was the ultimate dream, like those fragrances. I just can't believe I get to work with Le Boutin. It's just oh, it's so good. Now I have to sit down. I've got some bits that I need to order from my Teresa and one of the things I always get questions about is how I order online so I thought that maybe I could talk you through a little bit of like the the rationale that I go through when I order things online because I think that a lot of people find shopping online still quite daunting I honestly prefer shopping online than shopping like in store I find it exhausting going into stores and obviously none of us are going into stores now so maybe this will be a little bit helpful so I thought I'd go through my shopping list and some of the things that I have in my basket and what I'm ordering and then we can try it all on tomorrow so I have got my options hot chocolate I've also got a little a little fluffy thing on the ground sleeping look at him so cute. So I've managed to find the items in my basket. So this is an Isabel Moron Atelier dress, which I just thought was really nice. I'm loving long sleeve dresses at the moment and I'm especially loving Isabel Moron. And the reason why I'm comfortable purchasing this online is because it's not a fitted dress. So I don't have to worry too much about it fitting in the right places. So I'm always really confident buying silhouettes like this because it's only when things are like bodycon or trousers that I kind of have to worry. So this is like a no brainer. I'd feel absolutely fine ordering this online. Next up, we have some trousers. These are some Max Mara trousers and I've got to be honest, I might take these out of my basket or at least just order them and try them on. But they usually Max Mara trousers are too big for me, but these are really nice like chocolate brown color. They did have a knit in the same color to match and I missed out on it. I was so annoyed. But this is something that I would be kind of gambling with online. I'm not gonna know exactly how it's gonna fit, but I do know from owning previous Max Mara things that sometimes they, they run quite big on the bottom half for me anyway. So I'm still thinking about that one. Oh, this one I actually thought I'd just show you it anyway because I bought this dress last year, but this is this year's one. So it doesn't have a roll neck. This is more of a, a round neck, but this is the drape fronted Isabel Morant dress. I'll show you the one that I have, but it's one of the most flattering body con dresses I have because it's all nice and ruched and it's got lots of wraps. So it's really forgiving. And I just, I love it. I wear it so much and it's so comfortable. And um, it's body con, but it's really kind of stretchy. So you can kind of play around with the sizing a little bit I went for my normal size and it fit perfectly so um, this one not so much like I, I because of the ruching and the detailing to it it makes it easier to get to fit and you don't have to be so like precise with the fit which I love 
Um, oh, I thought I'd show you this because it's in stock on my Teresa. This is my Paisley Isabel Moron Atelier dress, which I love and I wear so much. It's honestly gorgeous. So I just thought I'd show you that. I'll link it in the description box down below. And then next up, we have a tabard knit. I know that a lot of people missed out on my Karen Millen one, but actually I wanted to get more because I wanted a cream one as well. And when I saw this from Isabel Moron Atelier, I was like, oh, I need it. So I'm gonna try it. It's obviously a little bit more expensive, but Atelier is usually a little bit less expensive. So, um, and I liked the color of this as well. It looks really nice on, and I reckon that I can layer it over dresses and with a belt and things like that, it'll look really nice. Next up, we have another pair of Eloise. These are the 85 suede ankle high boots. I've actually gone for a five and a half for these because I could, I could, I could go either way and the five is sold out. I've got these in two other, other silhouettes and heel heights and I love them. And so when I saw that there was the ankle version, I think that these will work really nicely with tights in winter because they're suede. So it gives that same elongating effect that wearing leather trousers and leather boots gives. These will work well with jeans as well. So I thought that I would definitely put those to good use. I'm kind of building up my Christian Louboutin collection at the moment because I've just realized how like lovely they make me feel like i love the flash of red it, it just feels really powerful to me so yeah building those up and of course another pair as well i need a pair of nude christian louboutins these are the kate 100 i've gone half a size up in these as well so that i've got a bit of room to play with but um, again, a bit self-explanatory with the shoes. I just, I just like them. And then I've got another Alexander McQueen belt because I love my other one so much. I wanted to try one with silver hardware and this one looks quite flattering. It looks like it's kind of a bit bigger at the back. So it's a bit tapered, almost sort of illusion-like, but I will receive it and I'll let you know what I think. And this one is also less expensive than the last one. This one's 350 pounds, so Fingers crossed, it's good. But that is currently what's in my basket and also some bits that I already own. Now I'm gonna order them because I've got one hour and 52 minutes to get my order shipped today. So I'm gonna do that right now. You happy with my order? It's just making me so sad looking at him. He's so chill. Hello. How are you doing? Got sleepy little kitties everywhere. You're much more calm now you're in here, aren't you? Bless you, I've always said it. You're just not very good at making friends, just like your mummy. We are just the same, aren't we? You're my little friend, though. Mmm, <laughs> so in your dummy. This little one has just had his last supper here. I'm um, doing my best not to get emotional, <laughs> but I know that on that car journey over, I'm going to get very emotional. Um, I have just popped tonight's video live and oh, I have a blog post to review. And I've also got some little bits of reading material this evening. And yesterday I spent way too long staring at my phone. And if ever I spend too long on my phone, I massively feel the effects of it so i have to constantly have like reading material whether it's a magazine or what i don't know so that's probably what i'll do tonight i don't even know what we're having for dinner but yeah so i'm just gonna get all of his stuff together i'm just so sad about this i really am i don't want to keep going on about it but i just thought it was going to be okay i really did I'm watching a pool construction time lapse. Wow. Sounds very interesting. It is fun to watch. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we are in bed and it is nine o'clock. Winston is now back at his original home, sadly. However, he did give me a lovely good night urination in the car and sprayed all over me. <laughs> yeah, and then he flicked it everywhere, so it, yeah, it's lovely. But he's not a good transporting cat. He doesn't transport well. He starts panting and shaking and then just walks out of his carrier like, what are you, what's the big deal? But I'm hoping that his original owners just end up keeping him. I do. He's honestly one of the best cats I've ever come across. 
Uh, anyway, we had a bit of a late dinner and now we're in bed and I'm gonna get an early night because I wanna go for a run in the morning. Because I was just looking at all of like my workouts and oh my gosh, in September and in June, I was smashing the workouts. I need to get back to that. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get an early night and um, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Lumi's here. We're getting little purrs out of her every now and again. She can obviously still smell him. So every so often she'll just be like, <laughs> but she's already calmer. Our little stress head. We actually saw one of our neighbors as well on the road and he was like, I always think that she's getting used to me because I see her all the time. And then she gets within like a foot of me and she's like, nope. <laughs> she's just scared of everything, bless her. Poor little sausage. Anyway. I see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I might look like I'm half dressed because I don't have any tights on and it is definitely winter time, but my order from my Teresa has arrived. So I thought I was gonna do something a little bit differently because I appreciate there's been quite a few unboxings. It's like that time of the year when, I guess also because after coronavirus, there's kind of a lot of work that's been going on, but there's been a lot of unboxing. So I wanted to do this one a little bit differently. First of all, I wanted to grab out the items that I already had in my wardrobe and show you those on as well. So I've got the, the two Isabel Morant dresses that I showed you, which was this one and then the black one as well. But I'm also just gonna show you me wearing the items that I purchased from my Teresa on the days that I'm wearing them basically. So today I'm gonna be wearing this one, but the reason why I haven't got any tights on is that I've actually invested in a few pairs of high-end tights, not like the monogrammed ones or anything like that, but just, supposedly good quality ones. I basically asked on my Instagram, what were your favorite tights brands? And Wolford was one of them. And I've actually never had anything from Wolford. So as I'm such an avid tights wearer, I thought that I would invest in some. And I bought three different pairs. So I thought that we could try those out together as well. I ended up judging a few things around on my purchase list anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a rail here. I'm gonna get everything out of the box and set it up so that you can see. And then basically, I'm gonna show you my outfits as and when I wear them. It's gonna be that easy. Rather than me sitting there and talking through like each and every piece, I will talk you through how I'm wearing them and how I style them up as and when I wear them. So I think that works a little bit better. It's about two days now since, since Winston went home and Ali was very upset. He was literally at that point where he was like, I'm literally falling for this cat. <laughs> but we've had a few chats about other scenarios and I'll update you on those anyway. But yeah, so let's get into the box, get everything hung up, and then I'm gonna style up today's outfit with you. Okay, so as you can see from the rail, it's actually more of like an accessories haul in this video. So let me just grab the other dress out as well. This is the dress that I was showing you online, except mine has a polo neck to it, but it's still all of the same ruching. I love this dress. So I'm gonna be wearing this later this week. But what I was gonna do was I was gonna wear my new Alexander McQueen belt with this dress because it looked so nice on the model, but I've over egged the pudding. I thought I'd purchase the 75 centimeter one. Is it 75 centimeter? Yeah, I thought I'd purchased my other gold one in the in the 75 and that fits perfectly. I've purchased this one in the 75 and I think maybe I was wrong. So I'm actually, I'm gonna instantly return this one and get the smallest size because that's it on the smallest loop. And unfortunately, it's too big, but I love the belt. I love the fact that it's like got these slightly wider pieces around here so that it gives a bit of a sort of illusion and it would look really nice with this belt it'd probably be quite comfortable as well because my other one's very thick i can't usually wear it around the house because the moment you go like that it's like whew. but this one i really really like so if you were on the hunt for another alexander mcqueen belt that is almost kind of like half the the price maybe not that much then this one's a really good option but i am going to buy it before all of you lot buy it uh, so I was gonna wear this today, but I'm not because it doesn't fit, sorry. But the tights are here. So I'm gonna pop my tights on and I'll link this dress in the description box down below. But we have a choice of the 50 denier, which I wanted some lighter denier tights. Oh, I've also, <laughs> people have noticed that I do this all the time. 
on things it's because my nails are too long okay i also got the 200 denia merino so these are the pure 50 and these are the merino so these are going to be slightly like warmer they've got a really good size guide on the website but i did still order myself a medium in the 50 and a small just to be sure and then i went full bougie tights and i went for their cashmere tights <gasps> i mean I feel like we're gonna have to try these out first because they're cashmere tights. They don't have a denier though, which is bizarre. Is that only something for like certain types of tights? But yeah, these are cashmere silk. So I think let's put it to rest and find out what cashmere tights feel like. Ooh, these are very thick. These are a lot thicker than I thought they were gonna be. What size did I get in these? I got small. Interesting. Let's get these on. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so first impressions. You're definitely not getting any support from these, but they are incredibly soft and comfortable. So as you can see, they're really quite dark and they're also quite thick. They do feel knitted, like you can feel the texture of the knit. These aren't like a, a silky touch tights. These are, these are knitted, these are cozy, wow. Okay, these are tights. <laughs> I can't believe how warm they are. <gasps> yeah, they are over a hundred pounds and I don't know. I. To be honest, I've not ever had tights like this before. So I don't know if these are available from other brands, but these are just, the warmest oh my goodness so i'm going to try these on with a pair of the shoes that i purchased from my teresa and show you what it looks like on okay as you can see i've popped it on with my new le Boutin boots these are the eloise 85 ankle boots in black suede i'm obsessed with the eloise style they are so comfortable especially the 85s and with these tights it gives you that leg elongating look so I think this is going to be my outfit of the day, except I am going to pop on my Alexander McQueen belt from my last haul because um, my other one, the new one, obviously doesn't fit. So that is what I'm going to wear for today. And that's the finished look. I've got a meeting this evening via Zoom. I'll tell you more about that later. And now I've got some bits to do at my laptop and in my notebook. So I'm going to get on with my day because I've spent the entire morning filming. This little munchkin is just about getting back to her normal self. Oh, is that the familiar sound of our tumble dryer? You love that sound, don't you? You love that sound. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. You do! <laughs> I've come down to the spare bedroom. You can see my lovely Barnaby Gates pillows. They arrived. I love them. They're going to be in this room on the bed, but obviously this room will be finished off properly. You can hear my tumble dryer going. I uh, have done some washing. I feel like I'm like rushing around today. The house is, it's like falling into one of those kind of states where there's just stuff everywhere because there's so much going on. Not like work-wise at the house and not like work-wise. It's just stuff in general. I think things get like misplaced. I need to have one of those big like reorganize one of those things where i just take all of the stuff out of each of the rooms that shouldn't be in there and put it in the hallway and then find it at home or sort it out i'm just yeah i feel like it's really unsettling me at the moment which is so weird but yeah i came down um to tell you basically i've just been sat at the kitchen island i've been doing some work and i have been filling out my one of my notebooks because i have started which i haven't actually told you about but i've started having life coaching which is something that i've never had before and it's actually just an opportunity that kind of presented itself to me basically i don't know if you remember one of ali's old school friends has a podcast called take flight and he has trained as a life coach and he offered me the chance to to have life coaching and i thought i've never done it before so i take him up on it and that's what i've done and um, so this is my second session and i've done like my homework <laughs> ahead of our session today it's on zoom by the way but yeah so i'm going to be chatting through that kind of stuff with him this evening and also i've come down to hit down to the end of the house just to sort of chat because ali and i had a bit of a chat <laughs> about what we're going to do in terms of like 
another pet and stuff like that. Obviously I mentioned a pony and a puppy and obviously I haven't even started my horse riding lessons yet. I haven't even phoned the farm that I'm thinking of going to, but I mentioned to him about a puppy and obviously this isn't something that we're gonna like jump into without consideration. Ali's not really, he's not like hugely sold on the idea and I've kind of like spoken to him about it and convinced him about it a little bit and he's definitely coming round and we've sort of narrowed it down to the kind of dog that we would like, something that's quite like, not low, but low to medium exercise. It means that I can take it for walks because I'm constantly pestering Ali to go for walks with me and he never does. <laughs> so it'll be really good for me in terms of getting out and doing my walks when I'm not running um, and things like that. But obviously we're not going to jump into it. We, we, we had this opportunity with Winston and it was like a, oh, maybe it'll be fate. It wasn't fate. <laughs> and so now we're going to, we're gonna make Bolly and Lumi spend a bit more time together and see how they get on because Lumi's really kind of like unaffected by Bolly in that respect. But Bolly's a very, very, very energetic dog. And so I think if she can handle being around him, then we might have a chance to look at a slightly less energetic dog. You guys will know the kind of dogs that I'm into on my channel anyway. But yeah, it is exciting, it's nerve wracking, but I think that we're at that point in our lives where we're kind of ready for this next step, if that makes sense. Like I was saying to Ali, our lives are never gonna go back to the same as they were like pre-COVID. It's, it's never gonna be the same. It's not gonna go back to normal, normal. And I definitely think that work-wise, things will be less like sociable, especially in our space. And so we're at that point. But like I said, it's not gonna be something that we do anytime soon. I mean, as much as I would love a Christmas puppy, <laughs> it's probably not going to be then because first of all, we have to make sure that Lumi is okay. And in doing so, we're gonna be having Bolly like to stay with us a few times, hopefully, because at the moment, Bolly stays down in the basement because Bolly doesn't go upstairs. So Carrie stops him from going up the stairs. However, we're gonna have him upstairs so that he doesn't go downstairs and see how he gets on. So I'm looking forward to that and just seeing how it goes. We've had lots of other friends offer us their dogs to trial because I think that they can see that I'm just, yeah, I'm at that point. Yeah, so that's kind of how the day's going. I am just pottering around the house at the moment waiting for my meeting and then we're probably gonna have dinner and it will probably be a fairly chilled one. So it's, it's not too much of an exciting day today. I know that with this whole lockdown thing, I'm sure vlogs are kind of monotonous and stuff. So I hope that you guys aren't bored of me yet. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get on with a few of the chores around the house, some washing, some organizing, and then sit down for my meeting. It's about 8 p.m. I've got about an hour until I get into bed. I finished my coaching session. It was really, really good. Oh, I find them so like beneficial for kind of like refocusing because obviously I don't have a boss. I don't have anyone that I work under or that I get appraisals for. So it's really good for like just making sure that I'm focusing my energies in the right places and what I'm working towards. And I just find it so beneficial. The guy that I have as my life coach is Mark Whittle. I'll leave his details in the description box down below, but he's a friend of my husband's, but he's basically a life coach. And um, he's been like life coached his whole life because his dad was a life coach and he's doing that. I just find it so beneficial. I've got homework to do and everything. Lumi's making a racket as usual, but my day is not finished. Having filmed all day until 5 p.m., I am now dealing with Lydia's laundrette. Uh, I am working through a number of mounds of washing, and this is not all of it. We've got bed sheets and pillows back from the dry cleaners and a lot of washing to do. So I am going to time lapse and boss my evening so that I can get into bed for at least 9, 9.30 to be up in the morning for a good old run because that is what I'm living for at the moment. So I'm gonna pop you up here and you can watch me do all of my work for the evening. So I've put most of this stuff away. A new wash load is on, just a quick one for the cleaners. The tumble dryer is on, the dry cleaning is in the bedrooms. Um, we've got stuff drying, we've got stuff waiting to go in, stuff to put away. 
So I need to do new soap in here as well. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, one of the things that I've noticed is I watch Fleur's vlogs and I definitely have noticed that Fleur's pyjamas are ironed and it gave me this weird, like, warm, prickly feeling, the thought of, like, ironed pyjamas. So now my pyjamas are ironed and... This is gonna be so controversial because I know that people are weird about ironed bed sheets as well, but ironed pajamas, oh yes. <laughs> I noticed these weird things. Um, but anyway, I need to get some new soap in, so I'm gonna be using the new Esper refillable soap ones. They sent me these in a little care package the other day. I love the idea. I was literally looking into refillable soaps just the other day. And this is their Neroli and Green Mandarin Conditioning Hand Lotion and their no rinse hand cleanser oh interesting well we'll try them out anyway a decaf coffee and a bowl of coconut yogurt with two passion fruits is literally my favorite breakfast at the moment oh i, I can't get enough of it it's so good Still finishing off my um passion fruit. <laughs> Alright, babe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel after your morning run? Good. I um woke up at half five this morning, so I'm really kind of getting into that rhythm that I wanted to get into. Went for a six k run as well, which is my second run of the week, and I am dressed and I'm up. I'm ready for a very important call this morning with the Karen Millen team. We are talking designs, which is very exciting. However, I am wearing my Isabel Morant dress from my haul. I love the neckline of this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the light today, I'm gonna have to move this. It's not my friend, so we'll do our outfit here. So, I'm wearing this. It comes in black and white as well, but um, this is the red and floral one, but it's got this really kind of like regal neckline. This is a wrap dress as well, and I wouldn't usually be able to wear wrap dresses, but because it's really like, Rappy, does that make sense? <laughs> it works really well on me, so I'm super, super happy about this and how it looks. I've also popped on the wool 200 denier tights from Walford, and I would say that they are not too dissimilar from the cashmere ones. Very, like, thick, but the Q is in the name. They're quite woolly, which is really nice. I would probably go for the wool ones over the cashmere ones because I have actually already got a slight pull in the cashmere ones and these are a lot cheaper, but it's a little bit bougie to have some cashmere tights for those very special snuggly days. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. I don't know whether to put my tabard knit on, although I have got my Vince cardigan as well. So I'm gonna see how I'm doing. But first of all, I need to get my laptop. I need to set up shop because we've got a very, very important Zoom call. Uh, yes, I will have, what you have, what do you I'll have green tea, please. We've managed to confirm an olive color as well. Amazing. We've managed to get you an exclusive color on the olive. Oh, I love that. Oh my God, I just, I just scrolled down to the next bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think you could have got that more her. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think the black is like a, a classic. Honestly, that this whole story around that skirt, I can't believe it because it's it, it's so perfect. I love that. That was a very, 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 very exciting meeting. It was basically like, I can't even say, I can't say anything. But all I am gonna say is stay tuned for next year because it's gonna be very exciting. It is gonna be very, very exciting. Oh my gosh. Like I literally, I feel like I get to work with the best team at Karen Millen, they are so good. So then I have spent the rest of the day just ticking a few things off my list. Um, I've also managed to get my nails off because they were looking disgusting. So I've just got naked little nails, but I think I'm gonna order some um, like glittery polish to apply to the tips. Remember I had like my frosted nails that I mentioned the other day. I, I'm gonna try and do them myself, maybe. 
we'll see. Now I'm gonna get some content because, just to give you a little update, there is a new Nucleus bracelet which has launched. I'm actually working with them on some Instagram content as well, which will be going out on the Friday. So you won't be able to see it on this video, but it's happening. So I'll link the new power bracelet in the description box down below. I've almost closed my calories for the day ring, which is great. And now I'm gonna sort out the kitchen, carry on with some work, film some content. I've got another meeting today as well. And yeah, so it's like a, a bit of a sort of all over the place day today, but it's all good and very exciting. But I'm gonna show you as well the other items. I'm gonna put them on because I realize I'm probably gonna finish the vlog today. So I'll just show you how I'll style them up so that you guys know. <laughs> this is the Tabard Knit. And I think it was actually styled quite similarly on the website with this dress, but I obviously wanted to belt it with this Alexander McQueen belt, but obviously it's too big. So we're gonna send it back today and get the next charge. But I'm gonna show you because it's a little bit more padding in there now, so it might stay up. So this is kind of the vibe that I was going for with this particular outfit. I really like the fact that this is an extra cozy layer, but your arms still feel free. And this can be layered over absolutely anything. And then the belt obviously cinches it all in and makes it a bit more flattering. That's very much my style. I'm not like an oversized baggy kind of person. I like to have some shape, otherwise I just feel a bit like swamped. So um, that's the tab on. I know that lots of you were looking for this particular jumper in this sort of style. And I know that my Karen Millen one sold out. And this one is 200 and something pounds, I think, which for Isabel Morant is really good. And also for the quality as well. And I love the color. So I thought I would show you it because I know that lots of you are loving tabard knits at the moment. This is the other knit piece that I got, which is from Vince. It's almost like a knitted jacket and I love it because it's so cozy, but it's still a really good length for wearing over dresses. So for something like this, it just adds a little like cardigan coat to it. But again, you could belt this as well. Um, I'll show you. So you could belt this up in the same way with the tabard. It's almost like Dior jacket vibes, but in a nice, nice little knitted, knitted piece. This would also look really nice over like black jeans with like a black polo neck as well. It'll work so well. I think this is so chic. So I'm really, really happy Good with this. Good morning, everyone. I realized that I was too tired yesterday and did not finish my video. So um, I thought that I would wake up and show you exactly what I'm wearing today because it is the Isabel Morant dress that I mentioned that is back in stock. It's a new season style, so it doesn't have the roll neck. Let me show you a little bit better because the sun is streaming in so you can get a little bit more of the texture there. But it is one of the most flattering bodycon dresses I have ever owned. It is so fitted. It's kind of like a second skin. Oh, you heard my tummy rumble then. And there's all of these like draped pieces of fabric and it's almost like a stocking material in places. It's just incredibly flattering. And um, it's also the most comfortable dress I think I've probably own and um, I always feel so so nice in it so it's what I'm gonna wear today we've got a meeting and not much else is happening today so I'll probably end up putting a cardigan over the top but I wanted to show you it on I'll probably wear my new Vince cardigan as well and also I wanted to show you the other pair of Christian Louboutins because I've not obviously had a chance to style them up these are going to be my Christmas festive shoes I think um, I don't own a pair of the sort of more traditional Louboutin style heels and these are the Kate 100. So the 85 is like the most comfortable, the 100 is more of like the we're getting there and then the 110s are just actual agony but these are the Kate style and they are just so elegant this sort of shape to the front is so so elegant I really like it and it's not too high either I've got another pair I think they're the Pigalle Follies and they're in the 100 as well and I find them really like they're just on that border of sort of uncomfortable and comfortable and so I'm able to last in them and wear them a lot better but these are more of like a statement shoe that I wear for like dinner or something like that but hopefully there'll be lots of dinners in December so that's what I'm planning on on wearing for them. 
So that is it for this vlog. I'm going to leave it here. I'm gonna leave all of the links in the description box down below to the outfits and the pieces that I picked up from my Teresa. I can confirm that I am completely sold on the Wolford tights. I will still need more tights for when I wear like tighter things that have a little bit more structure, but I'm gonna look into the Wolford collection and see if I can find whether they have any more like control tights, because I really like those and I will link them down below. The cashmere tights are very, very broody, but I think that I prefer the wool tights because I'm less worried about wearing them. And the 50 denniers are so elegant as tights. They look great with heels. Um, they just give a sort of more sheer finish to your legs, which I usually wear quite dark tights. So I'd probably save them for more dressy occasions, like when we go out for dinner and support all of the restaurants in the local area when we come out of lockdown. So that is what I'm intending on doing. And thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you guys in my next one.